Treasure of Fate 2. Um, welcome back to our channel, right? Oh, yeah. wine making video. Yeah, homebrew. Homebrew. It is best. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, now we make it as it I. Make it now, go. Voila. Um, so today we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a recap of our wine making brewing experiment. Dun -dun. The first batch. The first batch. Yeah. So today get recap and some of the processes that went through during the up during the two weeks. Um unfortunately we couldn't record them. So I'm gonna be explaining them today. Or you added what, you didn't add <laughs> what, you did what, you didn't do what. And yeah. So far, so far. So quick recap we did this what two weeks last, last week this is the second week last week saturday we did our watermelon crushing and juicing which gave us about 10 liters of pure watermelon juice and to that we added a bit of boiling water about 10 liters or so to get to that 20 liters that we needed we had our sugar in there and we had our, what you call it, our bentonite. That's clay for clarifying the wine so we can get a nice clear color of it. And then we had our enzymes as well for breaking down the sugars in the juice so you can get more flavors and more aromas out of it. And we had our citric acid as well in here for that acidic touch and our yeast and yeah. its nutrients. Yeast. Yeah. 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 So. My guy here has been monitoring it for the whole two weeks and he's gonna explain what he saw because I was never here. So guys, during the fermentation process, because the fermentation process takes about two weeks. So the first week in our fermenting bucket, let me just put it here. So I can see it. So this is our fermental vessel bucket. So in here it's our wine. Wine, not so yet wine, but wine. So during the fermentation process, you, this thing, in this thing, uh, was, this thing should should blow bubbles. This thing they call the airlock. So it should blow bubbles in order to see fermentation is taking place. As soon as those bubbles are done and there's no foam inside, there's no foam inside and there's no bubbles in here. That means our fermentation is time. So for the past two weeks, this thing has been blowing bubbles. You'll see a video somewhere in the montage or something. The inside foam will develop, we start, we start developing some foam on the surface. If your bucket is over full, so if you can see our, our bucket, it's somewhere here our wine somewhere so if you if yours was full and during fermentation this thing was gonna blow because of there's no space for gas and carbon dioxide to circulate so even if you press it here those are gases here yeah? carbon dioxide is left inside you still gonna have to stay this guy and get it all out but definitely show fermentation is done fermentation is done so these are just gases that are trapped inside CO2, carbon dioxide. So yeah, and we let room temperature about 22 or to 20 degrees Celsius. That's about room temperature. So but yeah, so our fermentation is done. Next to the next process, next step. Yes. So today. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna strain this guy, make sure that we get all the residues out of him, and then after that we're gonna add the final fine agent so that we can get a nice clear consistency out of it. And um, I promise you it's a beautiful and white one, yeah. So we're gonna open this guy up so that you can have a look of what's been going on in here before we strain it. As you can see, it was stained by the foam. So as you can see inside, there's no foam. There are no bubbles inside the wine. 
it's nice and clear and you can see the results of the fermentation the foam left a nice stain there inside the bucket as well the lid you can see the results of that so what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this through a strainer get all this stuff out get the whatever sediment is left at the bottom get it out as well and then we're gonna add a stabilizing combi to this and then add our fighting agents stir the guy get the co2 out and yay we're done we can start bottling our wine for maturation because the big 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 job of fermentation is done and <laughs> we're gonna taste as well today we're gonna get a taste of it join us special waffle too okay so now the more lab well i'm not kitchen near someone but we are about to save um, our wine so yeah from this vessel as you can see to the next vessel as you can see we have white wine <laughs> made from watermelon My, i thought it's gonna be pinkish pink red something something but it's actually white wine as you can see it's so clear yeah so um let's save and <clears throat> let's see so now what is the science behind the clarity right and i did a little bit reading on this so it's the bentonite so what i found out is that bentonite is a clay made from volcanic ashes and what it does is once it mixed in with your substances it makes all these things that are in your wine gravitate towards it and sink down to the bottom quicker than they would have if it was just up to gravity you know and what i also find out is other people use egg whites and egg whites are preferable for red wines because what the bentonite does is it strip out the color from <laughs> from our, our mixture and results it in a white wine so if you you want the more reddish color or you're using whatever food that's going to give you red wine i believe egg whites are the best way to go and one day we're going to do that experiment and find out the results of it just a matter of time so guys here we are about to find out our alcohol reading so this is an hydrometer and so now with this thing we're gonna find out our specific gravity so alcohol gravity APV APV right yeah yeah so, yeah, APV. Yeah. so what it does is basically we measures the, the level of sugar so we measured it before fermentation, that was loss of sugar, and it gave us around 14% potential or so. And now we are measuring it after fermentation, and then we're gonna do a little math and find out the results of that. But according to the initial reading, we should have about 14% alcohol in here, which basically slaps the hell out of a guy, yeah? Yep. So we are done for our sifting and these are the results. To my left we have beautiful clear white wine. Still gonna put this for the strainer one last time. And then in here it's the sediment left behind. There is the whatever is left over of the pulp and all the undesired stuff. You know you can't drink this. So this we're gonna get rid of and clean this bucket and we're gonna strain it one last time. After straining, we're gonna stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it to get the CO2 out of it and then add our stabilizer, which is this guy, he's a sulfite. If you check your wine, you'll find the rating may contain sulfites. So it's a stabilizer. We're gonna add it to our wine after we're done with this process. Cheers.